Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, I'm here for Newton's Nook Designs and we are going to create a project using a brand new stamp set that's part of the August release this month. So much fun and there's lots of inspiration for this release over at the Newton's Nook Designs blog. I'll encourage you guys to check it out because um, in fact, I'll leave the link to the blog, um, Newton's Nook Designs blog down below, but there's so much inspiration um, with this brand new release. But this is the Simpson Story stamp set, 6x8 stamp set, and it does have a, a coordinating die if or a die set if you prefer to die cut. But um, we're going to be using both of these today to create our project. While I'm stamping, um, I'm going to stamp with Nina 80 pound cardstock with Memento ink, just the image of the sweet little girl with a coffee cup. She looks so cozy on her pillow and a good book. Love this little image. And I'm also going to stamp the small book with the heart a couple times. But um, sentiments in here are so fun, guys. Never judge a book by its movie. <laughs> Happiness is, a co is coffee and a good book. So true. Love both of those. And I'm I'm so glad that you're part of my story is another sentiment. And then there's also one that says the book was better. <laughs> and I, I will take a good book over a movie any day. I just wish I had more time to read. But as I color, I'll play some music for you guys. And then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring's all done, and I had a few issues. My B, uh, BG10 leaked all over the place, and then I thought I should restamp it and read color, but then I thought, well, maybe I'll use my colorless blender, and it worked out good, because I could clean up my mess up with the colorless blender. In fact, you could barely even see that I had a BG10 blotch. It was pretty light color, so I got away with my colorless blender. So I'm using the coordinating dies. I'm gonna die cut out my little girl, my two books, and now we're going to set these aside and go ahead and work on our background. Now to make my bookmark, I thought it'd be f fun to just kind of elongate um, our tag die. This is the Fancy Edges tag die set. Love the set. Um, I'm going to use this little fancy edge, my tag, and then we're going to use the little, the piece that goes around the top of the tag to create our little bookmark. Um, I'm bringing in another piece of white cardstock and we're going to actually well, I think we need to 
trim this down to two and a half inches, but I think we're gonna need to cut it down a little bit more because our tag's a little bit smaller than two and a half inches. I'm gonna die cut out one tag. And then this little fancy edge piece, I thought we could use as a cloud border. So I'm gonna sl uh, slant it at a diagonal. And then that's where we're gonna stamp our sentiment on the upper half. And then I'm gonna take that same um, fancy edge, flip it around on the very bottom of my tag and cut out a piece of to make it like a little grassy area. So this is gonna do double duty. Now my this piece is gonna actually be glued down to the top of my cardstock here, but we need to trim it down. I need it to be the same width, and this is slightly larger. And in fact, I think, um, I was gonna eyeball it, and I thought, well, I don't have to recut, you know, what do they say? Measure twice, cut once. So I think we better just measure it first, and then mark it with a pencil, and then cut. I think that's the safest way. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to grab, I'm trying to find my pencil and only found a pen. So I lightly marked it, and then we'll just slide this through the paper trimmer and trim off. It's a little bit, about an eighth of an inch we need to cut off, but I'm just lining it up. And then you could see my pen mark, so I scooted it over just a little bit more. And I think this is gonna work out perfectly. Okay, now I lined it up, and then I'm gonna take my scissors and trim off the corners on top. And then I thought I'll bring in um, a paper punch and punch a hole where the existing hole is on that fancy edge, edge piece. Um, but I thought, you know, let's skip that all together. So technically you don't have to uh, snip off the ends. Um, I'm just gonna scoot it up like this. So the tag in the back, I and mean, it's not gonna be as pretty in the back, but, um, I'm just gonna scoot it up, guys. So I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna lightly tack it down. Once it's tacked down, um, I'll bring in the paper trimmer and I'm trimming it down to fit an A2 size card front. So it's five and a half inches tall. I think this is gonna be a cute little bookmark. If you wanna make it thinner, I think you could get away with that too. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this top piece and then we're gonna bring in a stencil. I'm bringing in the cloud stencil from Newton's Nook Designs. And also we're gonna use a Sunscape stencil. So we're gonna start off by adding a little cloudy background on our long tag here. And I'm using my Distress Oxide ink. This is Tumble Glass. Just using my blending tool and doing a light cloud shading on the background here. I think we're gonna flip it over and get a different section here. And we're gonna go almost all the way to the bottom just to create a soft background here. Well, I'm just gonna do a little ink blending with the rest. Now, after we have this done, I think that looks very pretty, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of, I'm gonna use some adhesive and go ahead and tack this down. After I had this adhered, I thought, well, you know what, we, we, I wanted to bring in a sun with the sun rays for my background, so that's what we're gonna do next. We're just kind of gonna line it up um, after we have this lined up, I'm going to go ahead and figure out my placement, make sure it's the right size. <laughs> and I think that's going to look good. Next, we're going to bring in our sun stencil. And I actually, on this stencil, I have a little bit of that pixie spray behind it. So it's going to be able to tack down. Um, I need to kind of measure, I want half of the sun peeking underneath my, my top cloudy area. So I just kind of measured it. I'm going to tap it down. And then we're gonna bring in some uh, squeeze lemonade and do a little bit of shading with our sunbeams here. Just lightly going over it. I was going really lightly because I didn't wanna turn my, um, my background green. So I think this worked out fabulous. Loved a little sun. After we have this done, I thought we would go one step further and add a little sparkle to our little bookmark. So I'm relining it. I'm actually gonna bring in um, some scratch paper here, and then I'm gonna bring in some Nouveau Glimmer Paste. This is Moonstone, and um, love this stuff. And I, I'm waiting for it to dry out, but you know what, I still have lots of use. I think I have probably about two projects left with this stuff. So um, we're just gonna open it up and add a little sparkle. Moonstone is like a golden iridescent, um, glitter paste so and it dries pretty quickly guys so I'm just gonna 
try and find my spatula that got buried on my desk. <laughs> but I'm going to use my spatula and we're going to add some sparkle over the same yellow area that we added to our sunshine here. It's going to add a little bit of dimension too. We'll just evenly spread this out, grab a little bit more. We're at the bottom of the barrel of this, this glimmer paste, but I think I do have a couple more uses left here. But um, just kind of evenly spreading that out. I need a little bit more down here in the bottom. And I think that the shiny is going to look perfect. Okay, we're going to just close the lid on this jar and then I get to remove it here and see the nice reveal. Now when you remove your stencil, you're going to have a little bit of that paste overhanging on the edges of your cardstock. So I just use, pick it up and I use my hand and kind of wipe away the edges just so it's a nice clean edge. But you can see that sparkle. Okay, after this is done, we're going to set that aside and let that dry. I thought we'd add a little bit of that blue cloud to the very top of our um, fancy edge piece. So I'll use that same stencil. We're going to move this out of the way um, so we have a little more room. And then I'm going to use my, again, tumble glass and add a little bit of clouding just so it's continuous from the top to the bottom here. Do one more spot down here and I think that's going to work out great. Now after we have this done, I'm going to bring in my little tag topper here. We're going to color this with our tumble glass too. We'll just add a little light shading here and then we'll add a little bit of color to our bottom area that we're going to use as a little green hillside. Um, I was going to bring in some green ink and thought, you know what, we're just going to mix the two that we have on the desk here. So I started off with adding my tumble glass. I did do a layer of um, my squeeze lemonade and then um, added a little bit more, just kind of flip flopping colors until I got a nice bright green. And that's going to go on the very bottom of our little bookmark. Okay, after we have this done, I cleaned up my little desk area and it's just about dry. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little more adhesive behind the top of my tag. We're going to line it up at the five and a half inch mark here using the grid lines on my mat. And I think that looks wonderful. Loving the way this is turning out so far. I'm going to add adhesive behind our little green grassy area. This was a little wide, so I'm going to go ahead and trim off that right side just using my scissors. And normally um, I would pop up the top piece of my tag and the bottom piece because I like to mention, but with this being a um, bookmark, I wanted to keep it kind of flat. I'm going to go ahead and add my tag piece to the very top. I think that looks great. We're going to um, go ahead and flip over our tag. I'm going to add just three, three pieces of foam adhesive. The foam um, adhesive um, that I'm going to use, I think three is perfect because this way you can kind of lightly remove it. I'm going to bring in my card base, which is a standard A2 size card base. And then originally I was going to go to the left of my card base and thought, now well, we're going to put it to the right. but I think it'd be nice if we put our sentiment on here. <laughs> um, so I did remove one of my um, foam squares so it would lay flat when I stamp my sentiment. I'm going to bring in my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. We'll ink up our sentiment for this card. I chose Happiness is Coffee and a Good Book. Stamp that just above, right in the center. And then we can go ahead and replace that foam square at the very top, which is good because I kind of removed the tackiness a little bit and made it easy to remove when you want to use it as a bookmark. I'm going to add that to the right, kind of making sure it's um, straight up and down. And then I did add some, um, it w this is not black and white Baker's Twine, but it's dark chocolatey brown Baker's Twine. I added that to the bow. And then last but not least, I did add a little sparkle using my Nouveau um, glitter drops. This is um, morning, morning, boy it's my favorite and I can't remember. 
uh, white blizzard. I'm sorry. I went over the um, hearts on the books and also her little hair pretty. But that's my project for today, guys. Using a brand new stamp set called Simpson Stories. It's super cute. I encourage you guys to check out the brand new release over at the Newton's Duck Design Shop. Lots of um, fun goodies over there. But thanks so much for joining me. Have a lovely day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.